now we will work with decimal number we will accept two decimal numbers and we will find the average of those two decimal numbers so first system dot out dot print print enter number one here i'm writing float so for decimal number we require the data type float so float x equals to sc dot next float then system dot out dot print ln for enter number 2 we will give here and here we will give float y is equal to sc dot next float we want to find the average so we may initialize in a variable or directly also we can display here I am taking a third variable float z equals to x plus y divided by 2 for division we will use slash operator so the result after finding the average will be stored in z now we will display our result so we will write system dot out dot print say ln average of x and y so x should be outside double quotation a and d should be inside double quotation and y we want to show the value of y that's why outside double quotation and then is that outside double quotation now when we will execute we will see enter number one suppose I am giving 20.5 then enter number two suppose say 23.5 so it will be 24 total so answer is 22.0 it is showing because we have taken the data type float now we have to understand about the buffer of this program program in this program now we will discuss the working principle of this so let's see so here first scanner class for accepting the data from the user system dot out dot print enter number one so enter number one here display then float x so this is our x and I am removing the previous data now sc dot next float so whatever we will type that will be stored in x in terms of a floating point number suppose if I will give the number 10.5 so 10.5 will be stored in x 10.5 next enter number 2 so next line it will come enter number 2 suppose we have given 12.5 12.5 this will be stored in y 12.5 
because float wise we have written sc dot next float so 12.5 will be stored here next we have another variable z so now z so let's create a place in the buffer for z so this is this will be our z This is also float, hence 4 bytes will occupy. Now z is x plus y divided by 2. So 10.5 plus 12.5 will be giving us 22, 23. And 23 divided by 2 will give us 11.5. So the value of z is 11.5. We have written average of. So average of will be displayed. Average of. Then. We have the variable x, so value of x is 10.5, so it will display 10.5 and after that a and b n, so this will be displayed a and d and then the value of y will be displayed. So value of y is 12.5 and then is so is will be displayed as it is is and then the value of z so value of z is 11.5 so 11.5 will be displayed so this is the working principle of our program this data will be stored in the buffer and this is the output that we used to see in our monitor that's all about today's program. Bye-bye.